Hey guys, and welcome to my review on the 2018 Illumination movie, The Grinch. So, The Grinch is about, like, I'm pretty sure you all know the story of The Grinch, about this, like, green blobby thing who hates Christmas, and then he tries to steal Christmas from Whoville, which is a town full of Who's. So, yeah, they incorporate that story into this movie. It's from a Dr. Seuss book, and uh, the story they didn't okay job adapting it into a movie like they needed to stretch the 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 story out since like the book is only like 10 pages long they did an okay job but there's this really stupid subplot with like you know that girl from the original story cindy lou who yeah she's a stupid subplot with the mom and it doesn't connect well to the story with the grinch the Grinch scenes are pretty good. I like the part where he, like, steals the sleigh and, yeah, B Benedict Cucumber, I think that's his name. He, he tells a lot of funny jokes when the Grinch, when he's the Grinch. And the animation, oh my god, the animation's really good. Like, I can't believe Illumination went from Despicable Me 3 and Pets to this. Like, the animation looks beautiful, like in the Lorax. The designs are really cool, and it's one of the most colorful animated movies of last year. It looks so cool, especially in, like, Whoville with all the, like, Christmas decorations and stuff. Yeah, that's really cool. And I especially like the Christmas stealing scenes that you're seeing on screen right now. Yeah, those are really cool. The, the characters, no, they're, they're pretty good. I mean... The Benedict Cucumber Grinch, he's he's a funny character, and the Grinch, the guy, I think his name is like Steve or something, the guy that's annoying the Grinch who has a beard, yeah, he's a funny character. Max is pretty decent, although he's a bit one-dimensional, and he looks like a dog from the Secret Life of Pets. Blech. The... The reindeer, fat reindeer moose thing, he's annoying. Cindy Lou who's annoying, and her friend Posse's, yeah. Like, the jokes they tell in that subplot, they weren't really good. They were kind of stupid and childish. But then again, that's a problem I have with almost all of Illumination's movies. So overall, The Grinch is a pretty decent movie, but it's not great. I mean, it... It does have a bad subplot and some bad jokes, but the animation, story, and characters are all pretty good. And this is a pretty good film to watch around the holidays, so I'll give The Grinch a 7 out of 10. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.